Hang around to the end of the lesson because we've got that Vanguard giveaway information after our Christmas list. Hi, this is JP and Lars. We're back with our Christmas segment here. We're going to give you a little perspective on what you should buy for Christmas for the individual that you love. I'm doing this because I love you, JP. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's the only reason I put this hat on. <laughs> Did the cool factor just go way down? Yeah. Well, nonetheless, here we go. I've got a list of 10 things here, and we're gonna just go through them really quick. I think these are great items, and some of them are our sponsors, most of them are not. So we're just gonna go through. These are, most of these things are under $500. There's a couple here that are over $500, but we'll just get started. First thing I, I have on here is Dodge and Burn Vintage Cameras on T-shirts. Dodge and Burn is a website. They've got T-shirts with old cameras on them, they're just really cool t-shirts. They're just fun. I just, you know, I want one. <laughs> well, let's get you one. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. So there's Dodge and Burn t-shirts. It's a 30 buck item you can buy for somebody who loves cameras. They will love it because they're vintage cameras, has kind of a hipster sense about it. Great thing. This next one is a weird one. It's called GoPro Tough Snake Bite Wrench. It's this little wrench. It's like 15, 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. It fixes your GoPro. It's just fixes all the little screws on your GoPro. It's kind of cool looking. It's 20 bucks, man. It's just a nice uh, nice gift for a stocking stuffer or something you want to give someone. They're going, what is this? It fixes your GoPro. Great. Is that one too weird? I don't think so. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's so, I mean, GoPro is the number one camera on the market right now. It's yeah. fascinating, which is, okay, we'll talk about that. You yeah. talk about the Hero 3. It's, a number, it's on here. It's a camera you can buy someone that is, is 500 bucks. The highest end camera is 500 bucks. Yeah. I think the highest the highest end is only four hundred dollars. Is it only four hundred? The, the three plus. Okay. Nice. It's three ninety nine. Yeah, the black edition. I mean, these are cameras that, I mean, as far as frame rates and pixels, shoot more than the highest end DSLRs. <laughs> it's insane. You, know, you can get one hundred and twenty frames a second at seven twenty p, or sixty frames a second at ten eighty p, which is usually what I shoot. So that's, I mean, I like to be able to to cut in with my DSLR footage. And so, you know, if I want slow motion on something kind of fun, I'll, I'll just uh, bring my Black Edition GoPro out. And, you know, these are, these are a really, really interesting set of cameras. And now, you know, the, these uh, newer editions, you can um, sync them up with your iPhones or your smartphones. Which is great. Oh, it's super cool because that's the biggest limitation for me was always that I couldn't see my image. They didn't have a screen and I had to pay an extra 70 bucks for a screen on the back. Um, but now, if you've got your smartphone, and most of us do, you just uh, turn on an app and it creates a Wi-Fi signal and you just uh, connect to it and you can frame with your iPhone, you move your camera around and as soon as you like what you get, just go for it. You can roll from the iPhone, you can stop, it's pretty neat. So there's a Christmas gift idea for under 500 bucks, which is you're going to be a hero. It's fascinating to me the number of people who are buying that as their camera. No other camera. You know, uh, yeah. not talking about professional photographers, I'm talking about you know, just people want to go to Hawaii. I mean, there's just so many applications with it because you can take it in the water, you can put it in your, on your car. I mean, just incredible. No wonder that guy's a billionaire. That guy's a billionaire from selling little plastic cameras. $30,000 investment turned billionaire. That's amazing. Our next item I picked up at uh, Photo Plus. It's called a Capture Pro Camera Clip. I just think this is a great item. It's about 100 bucks, maybe a little over 100 bucks. So it's not a cheap item. But it's a clip you put on your shoulder strap of your backpack, on your bag you're carrying, on your belt loop, and your camera clips onto it. So it's just a really quick uh, way to carry your camera on just about anything you're using. So I just thought that was an interesting item, and it works very well. Um, you can get a Swiss Arca plate, uh, an Arca Swiss plate. Arca Swiss plate? I always say that backwards. Swiss Arca plate? Swiss Arca plate. Arca Swiss plate? Arca Swiss, one of those. And it clips right on there. And, uh, you know, it just makes it easy to be able to transport around, have it handy. Yeah. So. This is another really cool item. What is it? $30? $40? $30. Bucks. $30. Bucks. Um, this is a time-lapse tool uh, that you connect to your uh, smartphone. So instead of, instead of uh, connecting to, like, an actual a kilometer or, or whatever you, those, however you say that those word. Which are expensive. It's like $150. Bucks. Yeah. yeah, instead of buying that $150 tool that plugs into your camera, you just buy this little guy. And uh, it plugs your in, right into your iPhone, and uh, you can set up your iPhone, download a free app, 
plug it right into your smartphone and control your camera with it. Set up a, a little free app and yeah. and, and uh, keep those cameras clicking for thirty dollars. So what is that like a fifth of the cost? Yeah. yeah. You can I hook it up and you can set, you know, take a picture every second, every three seconds, you know, whatever you want to do. It's a time lapse piece. So it's a, there's a great gift. Any photographer who you don't know what to get, buy him that because they'll, you know, he or she will go, well, this is just incredible. They won't have thought of it maybe, but yeah. they'll love the fact that you got it for them. You, you got one for me for Christmas. Right? I did. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I talk about the Gerber Steady multi tool and tripod? Yeah, you should talk about it. <laughs> So cool. It's a little multi-tool, but the legs of the multi-tool pop out and become a tripod. And the little suction cup comes up, you stick your iPhone on, and now it's a little tripod for your iPhone. You know, I got to tell you, when you showed this to me, my first instinct was, well, that's stupid. <laughs> I'll be honest. But then I started looking at it, and I started thinking about it. I want one so bad now, you know, because that's just, you, you get your iPhone, because they've got so many apps where you can set up your either, you know, you, uh, time a photo. So you... Set it up on this little tripod on the, on the run, and you take the picture and you run out with your girlfriend, and you look at the camera and you pose and you take the picture, and I think it's just a really cool thing. Plus, it's a multi tool, so you can use it for it's just about anything. Knives and scissors, got all the other stuff on it. I think <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Perfect. Yeah. And how much is it? I think it was $49. Okay, yeah. Yeah, $59. $59. Okay. So there you go. It's a great item to buy yeah. somebody for Christmas. They'll go, this is incredible. <laughs> little suction cup, there. <laughs> their camera goes on there. All right, you have the lens. Okay, this is just a classic. I've seen these around for a couple years. They just look like they're getting better and better, though. So any photographer needs to have one of these on their desk. They really do. If you enjoy coffee or hot chocolate, whatever it is, you got to get one of these things. This is a 24-105 to 105 Canon zoom lens. Uh, coffee cup. Coffee cup. <laughs> it's a coffee mug. And uh, I just think they're so cool. I've got one. You've got one. And any photographer, anybody that shoots even just a little bit, you need to get one of these as a stocking stuffer. I think they're what, twenty dollars? Yeah, they're twenty or fifteen dollars. Just get into focus 15, lens yeah. mug. So get into focus yeah. lens mug. Uh, there's diff all the different lenses. They've got the seventy to two hundred. Yeah, yeah, they do. They have different yeah. Ones. The twenty four to seventy is a little yeah. bit shorter, and I, I just think they're really cool. Yeah, they're great to fake out your uh, partner or somebody with when you smash them on the ground because you <laughs> dropped your lens. Yeah. So uh, that's a great one. <laughs> Next one I have on my list is the iPhone scuba suit. AKA the dry suit endurance. So it's basically a, an underwater housing for your iPhone. So you can slip it in there, you can shoot underwater, do great underwater pictures. Uh, it's pretty expensive. I think it was around $100. That's just a fun thought you can, in the pool, on vacation. Honestly, you know, most of these iPhone cases, if they even say that they're water resistant up to three meters, or I think two meters is the most I've seen, they're still $60 cases. Yeah. $60, $70, you know. So if, if this one's saying you can go deeper than that. And it's, oh, this is yeah. waterproof housing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how, how many feet it is. It uh, says 100% waterproof case to allow your phone to explore ocean floors. Well, so there you go. So this, they're, they're advertising this as one that can go a lot deeper. Yeah. So if you, if you really want to get down and scuba dive with your iPhone, then I, I think $100 is, is about on par. Yeah. Well, the great thing about it also is if you put it in your, your camera in it, if you're kayaking or you're in the rain or whatever, you're, I mean, you're it's going to take care of your camera. So it's a good, very tight, very small, very uh, you know, compact, so it doesn't like a big housing or something. So. Yeah. All right, this next one I have here, I think this was the best photo book of 2013. Greg Heisler's 50 Portraits. I mean, he really is the master of still photography portraits in this generation. I mean, there's others who preceded him, obviously, they're the greats, but in this generation, he is the one that people really look to as the master of portraiture. This book's worth going through. It talks about how he does each of his portraits, uh, breaks them down, a little bit of uh, background about each of them. It's a great book. It's a good book. It's a good read, something to kind of get you inspired about doing portrait photography. And a great buy for somebody. I think this thing was $40. There you go. It's under 50 bucks. Great book to give to a photographer friend. So. And a nice, a nice little something to put on the uh, coffee table. Absolutely. Along with your there you go. 24 to 70 mug. There you go. Just like that. And your trigger. And, and, and your trigger. trigger. It's like the package. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Heralder series of bags by Vanguard. There's a, a 28, 33, and 38. And I'm probably those numbers might be off a little bit. But uh, they're great just messenger over-the-shoulder bags. And you can get them different sizes. Uh, and I think they're great camera bags. They are, are slick looking. They're modern looking. They'll go great with kind of the new look nowadays, which is that 
you know the uh, the nylon jackets and things yeah. this really looks really good with that and so yeah I mean if I think it's just a, a great bag especially if you're doing uh, wedding uh, photography and you're trying to change lenses on the fly or just about any photography these days anything that you're run and gun um, it's great just to sling this over your shoulder it's not a big heavy backpack or something with wheels and just uh, you can open it up you can see that there's a whole bunch of lens pouches uh, that you can just kind of get your three favorite lenses maybe a different camera body and uh, laptop case right here I, I think it's a great little bag. We are giving some of these away in our giveaway, so go to theslamlens.com where you can sign up to win this and tripods that uh, Vanguard is giving away for Christmas. So, But these do come in different sizes. This is the largest one. I think the 33 is kind of, I think that's the best bag size-wise. It's This is a little big if you're going to carry. I mean, it depends on how much you like to carry, but I think for most people, the 33 is probably the best bag to buy. Lenses. If you have, to, this is such a hard thing. I, I want to suggest a lens, but I know that my daughter-in-law would love a new lens, and on her Christmas list, she'd love to have a lens. I'm going, it's just hard to step up and buy someone a, a you know, $1,000 lens. But what lens out there do you think? If, if you've got the, the capability of purchasing a lens that's decent and worthwhile, the Tamron 24-70. The one thing you're looking for in a zoom lens is constant aperture. And it's a fast lens, 2.8, a great zoom lens. Uh, it's sharp, it's fast, it's got the image stabilization or the VC control, um, and it's affordable. When you, when you look at that lens, if you look at any other brands, you're going to look at probably the $1,800 to $2,300 price range. I think uh, Tamron's comes in at about $1,200, $1,300. Twelve, no, around $1,200, yeah. $1,200. Yeah, $1,200. Yeah. So it's not cheap. You know, it's just, this is going to be a, a prime ticket uh, Christmas gift. Get it on the list, though. Who knows? Yeah. You might have a rich aunt or uncle or dad, mom might just really feel for you this year, and that lens <laughs> might end up in your stocking. You never know. Yeah. So. But it's a great walk-around lens. 24 millimeters it really to 70. Is. It's kind of going to cover all your focal lengths. And, yeah. My daughter-in-law used it. I keep talking about my daughter-in-law. I've been working with, about photography with her lately, <laughs> but she put it on her Rebel, and what she loved about it is because of the, the the frame cropping there, it now turns into about a 36 to 105, which in that range for doing portraiture is really a pretty great range. You know, it yeah. still becomes a really good lens. It's a great range to be able to shoot portraiture on. And I think it works really well. So anyway, so there's a great suggestion for lens. Uh, when you start getting to less expensive uh, lenses than that, it's just you start losing the, the constant aperture. You start losing a lot of other compromises. So that's our suggestion for lens. Unless you have any other thoughts. No. Okay. The maybe maybe the seventeen to forty f four from Canon. Was it seventeen to forty? Seventeen to forty f four, and it's about the six seven hundred dollar price range. Oh, what's the aperture? Four. Four. Yeah. When you get it, there's at least a constant aperture. Yeah. And uh, but it's a little slower. Than it's some good of the good wide angle lens though. I mean, yep. you can use it on your full frame or crop frame ca camera. So even on a crop frame, you're getting into the 65 millimeter range, which is a great perspective. Yeah. Um, and but even you know that 17 to 40 on a full frame is stunning. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, remember, it's an f4, so it's a little bit slower, but at least it's constant. Yeah, and it's the price point is down a little bit. You know, fifty yeah. dollar range. So. Yeah. All right, I have a couple other thoughts here. I've got uh, <laughs> the iPro lens system by Schneider Optics. Schneider makes a series of iPhone lenses that you put on your iPhone. They have a, like there's three of them here. They have a macro, a super wide, and a telephoto. It's about $220 for this whole kit, but all these lenses go on your iPhone. I mean, if I were to buy any one of these lenses, I would probably buy the super wide just because they're yeah. just wacky and fun. But. That's, that's your, I would love the macro, <laughs> personally. I, that I makes a lot of sense yeah. with your iPhone. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's a great thought. So, you can either buy them individually or you buy it as a, as a kit. So, I mean, it's something if you want to pick up a lens for your iPhone for somebody, it's a very cool item on Christmas morning, you know. And there may be some others out there that are less money. I'm sure there are of these uh, uh, lenses for your iPhone. But these are Schneider optics. These are pretty amazing uh, optics. So, something worth checking out. One thing that I constantly need, both in photo and video, is a good reflector. And, um, you know, we've got a, a few different reflectors to choose from. The one that I like is Photoflex. They make a 5 in one reflector, so you've got, you know, your, your white, you've got your silver and gold and the different types of uh, got a diffusion. translucent if Tra you want to yeah. just knock light down. Yeah, so, you know, it, 
a photographer needs, whether you're doing video or photography, they need a good reflector. Uh, and the one that PhotoFlex makes, it's 5.1. How much, what is the price point on that? They're not super expensive at all. I can't remember the price point exactly, but you know, it's the first lighting, piece of lighting equipment every photographer should get. If you get a camera, then you get a reflector. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you can step up to other things, but that's, you're gonna have to learn a few things. Learn with a reflector. Yeah. It's the first place to start. So I think that's a great gift. All right, this next one I got from Kessler Crane, their Stealth 28-inch slider. You know I love this piece of equipment. I took it to Fiji on our trip. It's just easy to throw in a suitcase. It's just a great piece of equipment. That's what I liked about it the most, is it can fit in a suitcase, and it's, and it's a great slider. I mean, it really is. This is the slider you put on the tripod, and when you go out, you put your, your camera on top of the slider and you can either lock it down and shoot or you can slide. So you have that option. And it's not so big that you can't just carry it around on the tripod all day. So it really makes for video just a really easy piece of equipment to use. If you have a, a, a significant other that you want to get a slider <laughs> for and this would shock them and surprise them to death, buy them this slider. I mean, it is very usable and something that they will love having. And it's about $799, I think. I think it's just about eight hundred dollars. So that's a, for a slider. That's a really great price for a good slider. Mm -hmm. I, I this have, is a high end piece of equipment. Yeah. Very smooth. I've gone through a couple of sliders that were just garbage, and they end up being really big paperweights. So <laughs> yeah, but no, this is a exactly. I, this. I mean, JP knows when I when I shoot video with JP, it's my go pro or my go to system is a seventy eight two hundred with a five D Mark three. And on one of these sliders and a tripod. And whether I'm sliding or not, I, I, that is my That's the setup. build. That's exactly what I build. And I run out with that. All right, so there's a great great suggestion for slider. Um, Dynalite has an excellent, uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier. They have this XP800, which is really basically a power supply for strobes. So you can use it for strobes. It really isn't meant for running your laptop and those kinds of things. It's meant for power on the go for strobes. So you can use monoblocks with it, you can use pack and head with it. I think it's a great piece of equipment. It's a thousand dollars, so it's not a cheap piece of equipment, but you can run two or three lights. If you're doing like the the, uh, the flex flashes from PhotoFlex, those are 400 watt seconds each. You can put three of them on one of these power uh, sources and run a, a three light setup from this one power source. So it really makes it easy to have on go power anywhere you're going and just a great piece of equipment. That's the best battery solution to date I have seen. And I challenge anybody on that on that topic. Now there may be something by Braun Color out there, but it is off the charts expensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, for in that in that price range and below, it's by far the best thing out there. But you know, happy uh, Merry Christmas and here's a battery. I don't know how that'll go over. <laughs> For me, maybe I'd be thrilled. Maybe, quite that's, maybe that's a Christmas gift that you get for yourself. It might be one you right. want to buy for yourself, yeah. which I have uh, done already. So, <laughs> all right, you get the last one. Okay, uh, you know, I a lot of people I like to give advice on. You know, I just got my camera. I'm trying to do some video. What's the best tool I can get? If it's not a tripod, if you've already got a tripod, which is very useful, yes, then get a glide cam. Uh, the Glidecam HT2000 or the XR2000, uh, look at the different options. The HD uh, will allow you to adjust, make smaller adjustments. HD is a better, if you can afford it, I would go the HD. And it's not very much more expensive. I think it's, it's like $80 more. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it really makes adjusting the camera a lot simpler just for that counterweight balance. But if the, I'll tell you, the first month I had a Glidecam, I thought it was broken and I wanted to get rid of it. Uh, so if you do get a Glidecam, be patient, figure it out. Throw away the handbook after a little while because you're going to have to adapt it to however your your uh, hand works, however the camera feels, and and you just need to figure it out. But I have been able to do so much work because of that little glide cam. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to shoot a, a lesson here for um, it may not show up in December. It will definitely by January, just on the glide cam, how to balance it, how to use it, and I want to just do a lot of footage of watching Lars work with it where you really analyze what he does because it is really interesting how he uses it and there's some kind of techniques that you can see in that footage and it'll be interesting to see. So, yeah. Well there's our holiday uh, wish list for 2013. A lot of great items on there. You know send that list out to friends and family if you want to be able to get something you really want. Uh, we'll post all the links for this as well so you can go and see the different items and uh, be able to pick them up. So. We just hope you have a wonderful holiday season and uh, hopefully it'll be a great year. How come we don't have snow? We should have snow. There should be snow falling while we're doing this. Everyone else gets snow. Why don't we get snow? I don't know. I want snow. I want snow. We could have rigged snow. 
Yeah, you know how easy it would have been? I hope you enjoyed our Christmas list from Trends from the Trenches. Great items on there, but if you've got other items, put them in the comments, put them on our Facebook. We wanna make sure that everyone sees all the cool gear out there that they wanna give their loved one. He or she really needs that cool stuff that you know about, so respond to us. Let us know, it's gotta happen fast because Christmas is here. Also, it's the last day to sign up for your Vanguard tripod or your bag, so go to thuslandlens.com, get yourself signed up, it's the last day to win. Have a very Merry Christmas. I mean, have a great holiday season. May the forces of wintertime solstice celebrations come to you and your family. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube. We have a lot of great information coming. We're going to introduce our business coaching class in February. Make sure you follow us so you won't miss out any of the great information that's coming. We have some great things planned for the next year.